A local tribe is taking part in a unique testing program to determine the exact lineage of its members. NBC 10's Margie O'Brien has our story. Michael Tenderheart Markley, Ed Foxhook Lincoln, Richard Wolf Truth Seeker Grace, and Donald Three Bears Fisher. They are all members of the Seekonk Wampanoag tribe. They are now in search of their native heritage. I go back as far as uh, oh, 1643. But the written and oral histories have run dry. They are now turning to technology. By introducing science to this, that we will be able to use our genes or our genetics to be able to trace our roots. Wampanoag members lined up one by one to be the first U.S. group to participate in a genographic project funded by National Geographic. To be part of the study, very simple. Members just had to give a sample of their blood. Experts will use DNA to trace their ancestors' roots. They tell us that they can probably go back 75 or 100,000 years. They will someday determine the exact spot a race originated from, how they migrated to this land, and the changes in land masses since their journey, all because of something called mitochondrial DNA. It's passed on from mother to daughter. There are segments of the mitochondrial DNA that are very stable. Occasionally they go through a mutation, and that mutation is traceable through generations. If they find out where Africans, so be it. If they find out we're Australian, so be that. The reason for joining the Genographic Project, it mirrors Richard's Native American name, seeking truth that we are all one. Maybe the wars will be less. Maybe the famines will be less, because everybody will be working out for everybody else. The tests are complicated. The results could take years, but in the hearts of many Seekonk Wampanoags, we're all one. I'm Margie O'Brien, NBC 10 News in Seekonk.